some missing person cases grab the public's attention right from the start, attracting national and international attention, putting pressure on police, investigators, the public, and we in the media. Gabby Petito's disappearance is one of those. From the very beginning, Gabby's cross-country road trip seemed magical. 2021, a young couple in love documenting their adventures, van life on social media. But that dream turned into a nightmare when Gabby vanished. Hello, hello, and good morning. Gabby's case was one of the biggest stories we covered in the early days of News Nation. And for us, it was more than an assignment. It became a mission to do more. For Gabby and for the many other missing people, thousands that deserve to be told, shared, and solved. It's part of Gabby's legacy, and leading the way in that mission are Gabby's parents. Through the Gabby Petito Foundation, those who knew and loved Gabby the most are helping in the search for missing people through education, through awareness, and prevention. They're committed to preventing domestic violence and working with families in the middle of their nightmare to find hope and support. Joe Petito, Gabby's dad, is joining us now. Joe, thank you for being with us, for continuing to be that light, and for sharing and shining a light on Gabby so that others can learn from, from what your family has gone through. As you have embarked on this mission, I'm curious what has touched you the most from the missing cases that you have followed and the people you've met over the last three years? Really, it's the overwhelming support that people have given us and and continue to give us to, you know, that and that empowers us to help as many people as we can. Since Gabby's story, we've seen an influx of missing person cases, not only hit the, 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 uh, the national news, but also on our social media pages and stuff like that. And that's, that's been amazing to see. I mean, you have a missing show, you know, inspired by Gabby. I mean, how do you say thank you for that? I mean, to be honest, and and you, I know you're doing it to help others and, and all that other stuff, but uh, it, it's just it is humbling to see that Gabby was able to touch that many people and inspire that many people. And uh, we're just trying to help as many people as we can because so many helped us. Yeah, and it, it surprised me, Joe, how many missing people there are. I mean, you start to hear stories coming out of the woodwork by the tens of thousands. And so many of these families, um, meeting them where they are is something that you can speak from experience. What advice do you give these families who feel helpless, who feel hopeless, who don't know where to turn? You, you have to keep pushing. You have to keep this story out there. You know, uh, keep putting those flyers up. Um, keep keep calling the, the networks, keep trying to get as many stories out there. The more people that see it, uh, the more that it's going to be shared. Uh, and that's, it helps. Because most of the missing stories that you see on the national stage have my complexion, you know, and that's just the way it is. I don't know why, but you know what? Now that we, listen, I'm not going to sit here and post blame. I don't care where the blame lines, but we, we know there's an issue. So now moving forward, let's fix that. Talk to me about the Hope Can't Wait campaign and ways that you all are taking action to intervene in this important space. It's really about helping the youth understand certain signs, um, places to go, like information. People don't even know where to begin. Education it will will take that one in three and move that to one in four, then move that to one in five. Because if you know where to go, I mean, that's that's the first step in you know in that long journey and, and it, there's light at the end of that tunnel that, that sometimes it's hard to see but it's there and people care people genuinely genuinely care yeah uh you describe gabby uh, over the years just as a free spirit as someone who touched the world what are ways joe that you are keeping her legacy alive that you want her today and forever to be remembered so we're trying to do a lot with domestic violence, you know, uh, especially with missing people as well. Uh, right now, we're really focused on a lethality assessment for states. We just got the law passed here in Florida. You know, this is something that has shown us, you know, to significantly decrease the domestic violence homicide rate. You know, the more we can get it out there, the more trainings that we can do, the more education we can give. Um, that's the, the goal is to no longer need the foundations like the Gabby Petito Foundation. That's the goal. Amen. Put me out of business. Please, yeah. that's like, like I forced to close my doors. It's fine. Uh, that means we did our job. Yeah, you and me both. Uh, Joe Petito, thank you for the work you're doing. Thank you for continuing to share Gabby's legacy with so many, um, turning your tragedy into purpose. So we so appreciate partnering with you uh, from here on out.
Well, I thank you very much for your time. And, and listen, the show is amazing. Um, keep doing it, please. And, and I hope it inspires other networks to do the same. Joe Petito, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.